Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of English. Bubbles are tiny spheres of gas. They're often seen rising up through liquids like lemonade, champagne and beer. These bubbles are rising up through a glass of Spanish cider, a drink made from the fermented juice of apples. We call this a sparkling cider. Lemonade is also a sparkling or fizzy drink. The fizz refers to the bubbles. We also call non-alcoholic fizzy drinks pop. Notice how the bubbles form. There are tiny imperfections in the glass and there are specks of dust and fibres inside the glass. These imperfections trap tiny pockets of air. In a liquid, molecules continually bounce around. That's why a liquid is a liquid and not a solid. Freeze a liquid and the molecules lose their energy and stop moving around. A frozen liquid is a solid. Fermented beverages like cider and beer contain lots of carbon dioxide dissolved in the liquid. It's this gas which gives fizzy drinks their fizz. The molecules of carbon dioxide meet the tiny pockets of trapped air on the imperfections inside the glass. The molecules are energetic enough to break out of the liquid and enter the pockets of air. This causes the pocket of gas to grow and a bubble forms. As you can see, some bubbles can grow quite large, relatively speaking. This is because the imperfection is large enough to anchor the bubble down and thus prevent it rising up through the liquid. Eventually, however, all the bubbles grow big enough to break free and head towards the top of the glass where they form foam. We call the foam of bubbles at the top of a glass of beer or cider a head. How many bubbles you get in a liquid depends on how much dissolved carbon dioxide it contains and how many tiny pockets of trapped air there are. A clean glass will have very few bubbles, while a dirty glass will have many. Some champagne glasses are specially made to have imperfections at the bottom to encourage the formation of bubbles. Once most of the carbon dioxide has escaped from the liquid, there are no more bubbles left. When the bubbles have stopped forming, we say the drink has gone flat. Bubbles don't form in the bottle because the liquid is under pressure. When you release the pressure by opening the lid, the gas begins to bubble out of the liquid. You can hear the sudden release of pressure when you open a fizzy drink or a can of pop. There's a sudden hiss of gas as the seal is broken. A pop is the sound that a cork makes when you open a bottle of champagne. The pressure of carbon dioxide in a bottle of champagne forces it out of the bottle with a pop. You pop the cork. And where does all this carbon dioxide come from? In non-fermented fizzy drinks, the carbon dioxide is injected in by the manufacturer. In fermented sparkling drinks, the carbon dioxide is created by yeast. These are tiny animals that eat sugars and produce carbon dioxide and alcohol. The same thing happens in bread. It's the bubbles of carbon dioxide that makes bread rise. It also forms the spaces inside bread. Anyway, I have to pop off now. I hope you've enjoyed this Daily Dose of English and I'll see you again for another one tomorrow. Goodbye for now.